Welcome back to Neural Splendor. Tonight we're going to take a look at the boost control system and how it works on the CAT C15 with a mechanical single turbo. By mechanical I mean it has a mechanical wastegate actuator like the engines had on the old mechanical fuel pumps. So first we're going to look at the mechanical part of it. Uh, you've got the turbo up on top, number six. The thick blue line on the top right represents the charge air pipes. As the engine runs and makes horsepower, the boost continues to, to uh, increase because the turbo is spinning faster. And the pressure in the cylinder head is building and the boost sensor number three measures that and sends feedback to the ECM. But there's also a signal line, a small stainless steel pipe off the cylinder head that runs back to the manifold number five and in that manifold is a wastegate control solenoid and then on the top of the manifold is another small stainless steel line about the size of a brake line that runs out and across and around the side, other side of the engine to the wastegate can on a turbo. When you start the engine up the ECM energizes the wastegate control solenoid that drives a steel pin in it up against that blue ball and the blue ball will press tight against the seat and no air is able to escape down through the vent to atmosphere. So as long as the ECM has that wastegate control energized, it really is just an old mechanical boost system where the pressure in the head has to overcome the spring pressure in number seven. If the ECM decides that it wants to increase the boost a little bit above the dumping point, it can intermittently de-energize that solenoid, it can pulse it, and then the pressure that's above that blue ball will dump to the vent to atmosphere. That vent is a small internal passage drilled up to the housing, and the boost can escape through the solenoid down out the vent. When it does, the wastegate can spring overcomes the um, diaphragm and the wastegate is, is closed tight and the turbo will increase in RPM which will raise boost. So the, uh, the blue lines represent the mechanical air pressure feedback system and then the electrical system controlled by the ECM can override the mechanical system to increase the boost a little bit higher or it can dump the boost uh, to the wastegate actuator so that it won't open. By default the, the wastegate control solenoid is energized and closed so that all the sensed pressure in the cylinder head through the steel lines goes to the wastegate actuator and then the ECM will intervene by shutting the solenoid off or de-energizing it to allow that pressure to dump and then it can actually build boost a little bit higher than, uh, than it could mechanically. And so that is, the system is really kind of a fine tuning of where it wants that boost pressure to be. There's reasons they do that, we're not going to go into those tonight, but that's how the system works. The next video you're going to see is where we actually troubleshoot the system. You'll see where we put gauges and what we did to uh, figure out what's going on and then know that we fixed it. Thanks for joining me. See you again on Neural Splendor. If you have any comments or questions about what I uh, explained, please leave them and I'll try to uh, clear anything up if, if you have some questions.